During the course of this video, we're going to show you how to set up the system parameters, set up a ground bond, AC high pot, and earth leakage test. Don't forget to visit our website at www.highpot.com to find out more information on electrical safety testing. First, you'll need to power up your 6330 tester. Check to be sure the correct input line voltage has been selected on the rear panel, either 115 volts AC or 230 volts AC. You'll also need to insert the remote interlock key into the 9-pin signal input terminal on the rear panel of the 6330. The tester will not output voltage unless this interlock key is properly plugged into the signal input. This allows the user to wire pins 4 and 5 up to the doors of a DUT enclosure for an extra measure of operator safety. A DUT enclosure provides a means of positive protection for the test operator. Connect the power input plug into its socket on the rear panel of the tester. Connect the male end of the plug to the outlet receptacle. Now, turn on the power switch on the front panel of the 6330. On the startup screen, you will see the slaughter company name, model number, and firmware version. From here, the tester will automatically navigate to the Perform Test screen. The Perform Test screen displays seven parameters for high pot, ground bond, insulation resistance, and functional run tests. It displays eight parameters for line leakage or LLT tests. This display currently shows a line leakage test. The parameters are test type, status indicator, measuring device or MD, test time, memory number, step number, test voltage or test current, leakage limit or resistance limit. First, we're going to set up the tester's system parameters. The system parameters are global settings that affect the operation of the tester. To get to the system parameters, press the exit key from the main screen. The first parameter shown will be PLC remote. Use the up and down arrows to change the parameter values and use the set key to navigate to the next parameter. Repeat this process until all system parameters have been set. If you're going to use the functional run or line leakage test capabilities on the 6330, it is recommended that you set the DUT HV parameter to ON. This parameter allows for all tests to be run with one set of connections using the line, neutral, ground, and case terminals on the rear panel of the 6330. This parameter makes for a simplified setup so that the user does not have to use the front or rear panel HV, current, and return lead connections. Press the exit key to return to the main screen. Next, we're going to set up an AC ground bond test. From the main screen, press the set key. You'll notice the memory number now has a flashing bar underneath. You will also see the word memory in the middle of the display. This indicates that you are now editing the memory parameter. Use the up and down arrow keys to select a memory number for the test. You can set this value anywhere from 1 to 20. When your memory has been selected, press the set key again to navigate to the step parameter. You will also see the word step in the middle of the display. This indicates that you are now editing the step parameter. Once again, use the up and down arrow keys to set the step number. You can set this value anywhere from 1 to 10. With 20 memories and 10 steps per memory, the 6000 series allows you to set up to 200 separate tests. Press the set key to navigate to the test parameter. The first parameter is the test mode. This allows you to set your test type. On the 6330, you have the option to choose between ACW, the AC high pot test, DCW, the DC high pot test, IR, the insulation resistance test, GND, the ground bond test, RUN, the functional run test, and LLT, the line leakage test. Use the up and down arrow keys to select the ground bond test. Press the set key to accept this setting and move to the next parameter, current. Using the up and down arrow keys, set the necessary values. 
Press the set key to accept each parameter value and move on to the next parameter. This will eventually take you back to the memory setting. Once you are finished setting all test parameters, press the exit key to return to the perform test screen. We're also going to set up an AC high pot test, but first, we'd like to make sure that our ground bond and high pot tests run in sequence. To do this, we need to make sure that the steps are connected. From the Perform Test screen, press the Set key. Continue to press the Set key until the Connect parameter appears on the display. Use the up arrow key to set Connect to On. Press the Exit key to return to the Perform Test screen. You will now notice an underscore character next to the step number. This underscore indicates that Memory 1 Step 1 is now connected to Memory 1 Step 2. When the ground bond test completes, the test in memory 1 step 2 will automatically run. Now, we're going to set up the AC high pot test. First, press the set key to highlight the memory parameter. Since we want to keep the same memory, press the set key again to highlight the step parameter. Use the up arrow key to change to step 2. Press the set key to move to the mode parameter. Since the default test is the AC high pot test, AC will already be selected. Press the set key to move to the next parameter, voltage. As with the ground bond test, use the up and down arrow keys to set the test parameters and use the set key to accept and move on to the next parameter. Since we're going to run a line leakage test after our high pot test, don't forget to set the connect parameter to on. Once all parameters have been set, press the exit key to go to the perform test screen. Finally, we're going to set up a series of line leakage tests to finish off our test sequence. Press the set key to highlight the memory parameter. Since we want to keep the same memory, press the set key again to highlight the step parameter. Use the up arrow key to change to step 3. Press the set key to move to the mode parameter. Use the up and down arrow keys to select LLT. Press the set key to move to the next parameter. Volt high. Use the up and down arrow keys to set the test parameters and use the set key to accept and move on to the next parameter. Continue until you reach the line parameter. The line parameter indicates the status of the fault conditions for a line leakage test. Fault conditions include an open neutral conductor, polarity reversal, and an open ground conductor. Fault conditions are designed to simulate worst case scenarios for electrical hazards while the DUT is running. There are a total of eight different conditions that may be configured. The possible configurations are shown in this table. Please refer to your appropriate safety standard to determine which conditions apply to testing on your product. When in doubt, it is recommended that all eight line conditions be run in a single test sequence. This ensures that all possible test cases are covered. Line condition 7, closed neutral, normal polarity, and closed ground, is referred to as normal condition. For the purposes of this video demonstration, we will set up a sequence with four separate line conditions. Next is the MD or measuring device parameter. The measuring device is designed to simulate the impedance of the human body. Select the appropriate measuring device per your testing standard. For this video demonstration, we will use measuring device C for the medical device testing standard. Once all the test parameters have been set, press the exit key to return to the perform test screen. To learn how to connect your 6330 to the DUT and run your test sequence, watch part 2 of the 6330 series video, Running Your Tests.